Hey everybody. I'm gonna do this video thing again. Give it a try with my goal being not to say um so many times. Today I wanted to make a video about me. Obviously most of you know I'm a real estate agent. I hope all of you know I'm a real estate agent, but if you don't, I am. Uh, um, but I also wanted to talk about just who I am. Um, because believe it or not, there is a Liz behind the realtor. Uh, so a lot of you had asked me to share some of my background and my life. So here we go. So buckle up because there's some humor and maybe a little emotion. Um, so just bear with me and uh, we'll get started. So who am I? Uh, well, as I've mentioned now a couple times, hint, hint, I am a realtor in Minnesota. You guys should know this. And a lot of people ask me why I became a realtor. I was in the corporate world for 20 years, basically since I left college, which was a lifetime ago, and moved around to various companies during that time, but was always in a sales role of some capacity. And after spending many years on the road, um, you know, three, four times a week flying out of Minneapolis, I realized that I was probably um, just done with that and missing a lot of my family and things happening, right? So I decided that I still wanted to be in sales, still wanted to help people. And the perfect job and career for that was to become a realtor. And it was a huge leap of faith. So um, just a little background on me before I got into the whole career. I grew up in Dayton and Minnesota, not Ohio. And I am the oldest of four girls. My father was a saint to say the least. And we lost him a few years ago, unfortunately. But I was somewhat the secondary mom. If you asked my sisters, they would have said I was bossy. I wasn't probably a whole lot of fun. I was the goody two-shoes, if you will. I was, you know, the one that didn't get in trouble, tried not to get in trouble, and uh, kept an eye out on my sisters. So oldest of four girls, and that definitely gives you some strength, some just some personal strength in life. I went to college at the College of St. Benedict and graduated with my communications degree there. And I am a St. Ben's statistic. So that means I went to St. John's and St. Ben's and there are a lot of Johnnies and Bennies that end up getting married, as you can imagine. And I met my fantastic husband, Kyle, uh, while we were in college. So we've been together 25 years, married 20, and we've, we've, had, we've had a roller coaster, as most married couples would tell you. We were blessed, and have been blessed, I should say, with two boys, which I think was a bit of a gift after growing up as the, of the oldest of four girls. So I got my two boys. Uh, my oldest son, uh, Ethan, is 18. And my baby is 16 and his name is Cade. So again, just super grateful. The boys have been healthy and I think for the most part happy. Um, and we just uh, have a fantastic little family. But there were certainly some obstacles for us, of course, like I think with anybody. Um, two weeks after Kyle and I were married, we were in a very serious car accident. And I won't go into all the gory details, but suffice it to say that we are both very lucky to be alive today. Um, the first responders, doctors were very shocked that, uh, that I made it and that Kyle was not paralyzed. So we are so blessed that we made it through that um, ordeal, but it was definitely life-changing. It was definitely not easy to start your marriage, having to live with your family after you get out of the hospital because you can't care for yourself. Um, I think my husband would say it's not necessarily ideal to live with your in-laws for the first six months of your marriage. So that was definitely a struggle and um, went on for many, many years as we recovered. Um, sadly, 
We also lost our first two pregnancies. Um, one was a result of the car accident aftermath. And then shortly thereafter, a uh, miscarriage followed. Um, and it was, it was heartbreaking as anyone who's been through it knows. Um, you know, as, as a mom and then of course my husband supporting me and trying to also grieve. Um, it was one of those things that I felt like, you know, what could I have done differently? And I think most of us know that in most cases there was nothing that we could do. And I look back now and think there was a blessing there because those two miscarriages led to us having our two boys that we have. So I'm trying to, and I've always tried to find the, um, the light in that situation. So I feel for women who have gone through this and families who have gone through this, um, because there, there's a large number of people who, who have. Um, finally, one of the bigger obstacles of late is my oldest son came out as gay uh, a little over a year ago and my husband and I couldn't be more proud of him. Um, we couldn't love him more. Um, my family has been incredibly supportive and we never had a moment where we felt anything but love for him. But what is the struggle with it is realizing that your child has to fight through sometimes a very ugly world and wanting to protect your child and realizing that as an adult, he has to go out there and and kind of work through these things. Um, but it definitely wears on a mama's heart um, as you see your child struggle um, with people who don't accept him, um, don't accept the community, the LBGTQ community at all, um, even when it's close, close people um, in your lives. So something that we've all worked through, but he um, he's an amazing kid and, or I should say young man. Um, and like I said, we couldn't be more proud of him for, for, you know, living his true self and being brave enough to stand up to some of the, some of the hate in the world. Um, so we've overcome these challenges and of course there'll be plenty more, I'm sure in the future, but in doing so, I think that it's made both myself, my husband and both of my children stronger, um, we we know who we are, we know um, what we believe in, and um, it's just made us uh, a lot better people, I think. And that said, I also wanted to share fun stuff with you guys because while life has its challenges and obstacles and heartbreak, um, there's certainly still a lot of fun in the world, right? And most days are phenomenal days. Uh, so fun facts about me, because a lot of you have asked. The first one being my face is 90% titanium metal. Um, obviously that was due to our car accident and one of my injuries was breaking my entire face, except my nose, if you can believe it. Um, and so my face was rebuilt and I've learned to live with that. I've learned to live with the scars. I've learned great makeup tricks, by the way, to cover the scars. Uh, and there's humor in it. There's humor in it in that the emergency room doctors asked for a picture of what I looked like. And one of my sisters went to go get a picture. And all I could think of was, God, I hope she doesn't pick a bad picture. <laughs> I hope she, she, I hope she picks a decent picture. So um, she did, and I had phenomenal surgeons, but... I get to have the kind of um, bionic face, if you will. Um, another fun fact, and totally random, I hate tomatoes, hate them. I hate ketchup, I hate anything with tomatoes, but I love pizza sauce, and I love spaghetti sauce, but I won't eat salsa. <laughs> so that is my one food that I won't eat. Um, Another interesting fact about me is I have a big issue with my curling iron. I've been curling my hair since I was 10 years old and every week I somehow managed to burn myself. Um, this is the most recent burn right here. Uh, so it's kind of a big running joke in my family that I just need to put anything heat related away from my hair. Um, but as most of you women under, may understand, and maybe some guys too, uh, I need my curling iron, I need my flat iron, but I have a real problem with it. 
Another cool thing, um, the snake and the bear are my spirit animals. I believe this to be true because I've taken all the quizzes on Facebook and the internet, the web, uh, internet, web. Anyway, um, and they all say the same thing. Plus, you know, the snake, the bear, they're tough. They're, you know, a little bit scary. And so I'm pretty cool with that. My favorite food, brownies. If you put a pan of brownies in front of me and say, do you want a brownie? I will just take the pan. I will take the entire pan. I will eat all of the brownies. Um, my family knows not to bring any kind of baked brownies from the, the bakery home, not to make any brownies if I'm trying to eat healthy. Um, but they are one of my biggest weaknesses. The other food that I really love is sushi, but I don't eat it raw. So, um, I, I, that's, nope, that's gross. I only, <laughs> I only eat cooked rolls. So, um, and two, uh, another thing, I'm a terrible eye roller. I will roll my eyes. I won't realize I'm doing it. It doesn't mean I'm angry. It doesn't even mean anything bad. I just think it's a natural response my body has so my mom and dad could have told you that that's one of the things that probably I got in the most trouble for as a kid that and maybe mouthing off was the eye rolling so um so that's kind of me oh the other thing I want to tell you my guilty pleasure right now if you haven't seen it it's called uh below deck on peacock and they've got tons of different versions and both Kyle and I are completely addicted to it. And um, it's absolute reality trash TV, but it is mindless. So after a crazy day of writing offers or looking at houses, you gotta put that on. So if y'all are having a crazy day, below deck on Peacock. I promise you will not regret it. So, so those are some things about me and I appreciate you guys hanging out and listening to me chat again. And uh, maybe I said um one or two less times. I'm not sure. But regardless, I love my job. I love my career. It's one that I wish I would have gotten into a long, long time ago. But I'm really blessed that I have been in it now for a period of time. And it's it's gone well. There's been frustrations and tough days. But seeing somebody get a key to their first home or selling their property um, and getting to move into their next journey in life, uh, next adventure, is amazing. It's an amazing feeling. So anyway, you guys, uh, I think that's it. That's me, uh, at least a portion of me. And maybe we'll follow up with some other interesting stuff about me someday, but I appreciate you listening. And I hope that you'll hang around next week when I, Maybe give us some actual real estate tips. Bye, everybody.